Hello, I'm Dr. Kathleen O'Rourke, Associate Professor in the School of Family and Consumer Sciences. In June of 2009, I presented my research entitled Sexual Assault of University Women, an Examination of Occurrence, Reporting, Disclosure, and Support at the American Association of Family and Consumer Sciences Annual Conference. The co-author of this research is Tona Smith, who earned a Master of Science in Family and Consumer Sciences. The purpose of the research was to determine rates of occurrence, reporting, disclosure, and support related to sexual assault among female university students. One in four college and university women has experienced sexual assault by the time of graduation, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. By age 30, 58 percent of women experience sexual assault. Fisher, Cullen, and Turner's national study indicated that 27.7 sexual assaults occur per 1,000 female college students, and only fewer than 5 percent are reported. The study included 370 participants who were 18 to 24-year-old female students at a mid-size Midwestern University. Participants were selected from female-only, university-recognized organizations. The research study included a non-experimental survey design. Data were collected via a 35-item survey during a regular meeting of each organization. Frequencies and percentages were calculated. Path analysis included graphing and charting. And qualitative data were analyzed to determine emergent themes and patterns. Of 370 women, 27 percent had been sexually assaulted between ages 5 and 22, with the majority of assaults occurring at 18 and 19. Perpetrators included friends and acquaintances, strangers, boyfriends, dates, ex-boyfriends, and family members. Six percent of women reported the assault to police, and three percent sought medical treatment. Reasons for non-reporting included, I didn't think it was sexual assault at the time. I was embarrassed. I thought it was my fault. I was afraid of the perpetrator. I didn't think anyone would believe me. I didn't want the perpetrator to get in trouble. And I didn't think the police would believe me. Persons to whom women disclosed included friends and relatives. Although 89% were aware of campus-based sexual assault counseling, only 7% accessed this resource. In conclusion, sexual assaults occur most often among freshmen and sophomores. Perpetrators are known to the vast majority. Non-reporting leads to inaccurate crime data. By not seeking medical attention, there is an increased risk for sexually transmitted infections and unplanned pregnancies. Given that almost two-thirds reported the assault to friends, there is an increased need for peer education. Stigma surrounds counseling services and that continues to exist. Continuous prevention programs beginning in the early school years through higher education with extra attention given to freshmen and sophomores are needed. The myth of stranger rape must continue to be debunked. Greater emphasis must be placed on concrete steps to take when considering reporting to law enforcement and medical personnel, along with the potential outcomes of reporting. Policy and spending initiatives must address sexual assault prevention and treatment widely. Higher education institutions must take a heightened stance against sexual assault through more education and support and by eliminating barriers for students and supporting peers. Thank you very much.